let's move to a veto that I'm going to sign today. My administration has always been an education first administration. I'm a proud Kentucky public school graduate and I owe a debt of gratitude to my teachers that I may never be able to fully explain. Without their investment and their care, without the education services they provided, without sparking the, the creativity, the desire to, to learn more, without teaching how to work hard and study, to do all of the work that's necessary to get a job done, I don't know if I'd be where I am today. I certainly know I wouldn't be who I am today. And I can think of about eight different names as I think back on my time, either at Henry Clay High School or, or Morton Middle School or Cassidy Elementary School, about how much uh, these folks selflessly, underpaid, did for me. So I deeply and I personally believe that we should be investing in our public schools and our educators. And I provided a budget proposal that did just that, that actually met the moment that we are in. It would have propelled us not just to a top 10 economy, but beyond an opportunity to have the best public education system in America. It would have provided over $2 billion of additional funding, not through K through 12, but pre-K through 12, with every Kentucky kid being kindergarten ready and nobody being left out in the beginning. It also recognized our educators. Our budget provides a raise, a wonderful raise, and it's going to, to our state workers. They need it. A wonderful raise to law enforcement virtually throughout the state. They need it. But our educators deserve one, too, and they shouldn't be the ones left out. That's why my budget proposal required a 5% salary increase for all school personnel, and we provided plenty of money to be able to do that and so much more. The General Assembly refused. It was right there. The dollars were there. It was a refusal, voting against raises for educators and now voting to take tax dollars away from our public schools. This is wrong, and it's why today I'm vetoing House Bill 9 in its entirety. I'm against charter schools. They are wrong for our Commonwealth. They take taxpayer dollars away from the already underfunded public schools in the Commonwealth, and our taxpayer dollars should not be redirected to for-profit entities that run charter schools. As Attorney General, I can tell you the number of prosecutions we had against for-profit colleges, how so many of them took advantage of so many people, and the idea that we would open up that same ability for people to prey on our even younger students is simply not the direction Kentucky should go. And the bill would send taxpayer dollars to charter schools that have boards that are not elected, and are not answerable to the people, public dollars being spent without that oversight. And they're not even required to comply with the same controls and accountability measures as our public schools. The answer to concerns about the performance in our public schools lies with actually funding and working with our public schools, not trying to divert money away to folks that you give more flexibility to than the group you're asking to do a better job. And House Bill 9 is unconstitutional, and I believe it will be found that way by courts if this veto is overridden. Kentucky's Constitution makes it clear the General Assembly shall, by appropriate legislation, provide for an efficient system of common schools throughout the state. Common schools are public schools, and public taxpayer dollars, I believe, under the Constitution can only go to public schools. This is a constitutional mandate, and the Kentucky Supreme Court has upheld this language in our Constitution time and time again. The, quote, the sole responsibility for providing the system of common schools is that of our General Assembly, end quote. And with House Bill 9, the General Assembly is abdicating that responsibility, and I believe violating that oath that we all take to not just the U.S., but the Kentucky Constitution. House Bill 9 also improperly and unconstitutionally targets Jefferson County and Northern Kentucky, requiring them to authorize charter schools within a certain time frame. Picking out one or two areas is exactly how the last bill got declared unconstitutional and why the injunction is still in place. For those reasons, but mainly for my belief in our public schools and my gratitude for what they did for me and how I believe that yes, we can do better, but only if we provide them the tools our public schools and their employees, they are not enemies of the legislature. They are heroes of the people. 
virtually every legislator has their kids in a public school that is doing the very best for them. It's time we do the very best for those public schools. So with that, I'm going to veto House Bill 9. message. I think this pen goes to our Lieutenant Governor, our former public school educator. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.